Hello everyone, this is The Rich Life, I am your host Michaela, and today we are talking about the after movie star Hero Finds Tiffin. Hero Finds Tiffin is an English actor and model famous for his role as 11 year old Tom Riddle, the young version of the main antagonist Lord Voldemort in the movie Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in 2009. He's also playing the main character in the movie After in 2019. He was born on November 6, 1997 in London. His parents were directors George Tiffin and Martha Fines, sister of actors Ralph and Joseph Fines. He also has an older brother named Titan Nathaniel, he was born in 1995, and a younger sister named Mercy Ginny Willow, who was born in 2001. Hero also said this about his mom when asked about him in acting. You know what I have to say, my mom, love you mom for this, she really really helped me so much with that, um, in terms of just, she's a director to herself, and she really just gave me so much direction when we were practicing and rehearsing and like, to be honest, looking back, I feel like she kind of did it for me, because I would have been so clueless at that stage. I really do feel like her direction and how she thought I should play it was kind of kind of what I went with, so thanks mom. Hero went to Emmanuel School in Battersea, a private school located in the southwest part of London, founded in 1594 by Queen Elizabeth I. The school has also had other famous graduates as well. Hero made his first debut when he turned 10. He starred in the English drama Bigger Than Ben in 2008, telling a story of two Russian guys who come to London seeking adrenaline and luck. His second role, despite it being a secondary one, made him famous worldwide. Hero played the role of young Voldemort in the sixth Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in 2009. Thousands of young actors auditioned for this part, but finally, Hero landed the role. It's quite likely that his relatives played their part in that. Voldemort's role after his rebirth was played by Hero's uncle, Ralph Fiennes. However, the director of the movie, David Yates, declared in an interview that the boy got the role exclusively because of his acting talent during the table read and the ability to drive out everything dark. The physical resemblance between the uncle and his nephew was also another deciding factor. The movie crew was very pleased with Hero's work. Yates called him a very goal-oriented, disciplined young actor who delivered his best interpretation of the mysterious character on the screen. He got his next role only three years afterward as the high school senior student made an episodic appearance in the war drama Private Peaceful in 2012. Hero played the role of the protagonist in his early years. When he turned 18, Hero already knew that he wanted to pursue a career in the movie industry. He he started auditioning very actively, but he wasn't always lucky in that department. More specifically, Hero failed the auditions for Netflix Stranger Things, Dunkirk in 2017, and The Hate You Give in 2018. However, he still got something. In 2017, director Baz Luhrmann, the mastermind behind Moulin Rouge in 2001, and The Great Gatsby in 2013, expressed his interest in Hero's work. Baz happened to be looking for an actor for his short-length movies for the collaboration of Erdem and H&M. The four-minute movie The Secret Life of Flowers was shot in a suburban mansion decorated luxuriously with flowers and candles. With the exception of Hero, several other talented actors also made an appearance. Similar to Baz's other movies, The Secret Life of Flowers turned out to be a real masterpiece, with his signature passion and drama. After the release of the video ad from the famous director, Hero's career skyrocketed. In 2018, Hero made an appearance in an episode of the series Tunnel with Stephen Delane and Clemency Posey. Soon enough, he landed a role in the series Safe, whose plot revolves around a pediatric surgeon and a widower with two teenage daughters. In January, 2019, he appeared with a background role in the British drama series Cleaning Up, revolving around janitor Sam Cooke, who unexpectedly is drawn into the dark world of finance. Besides starring in movies, Hero's also working as a model. He signed a contract with a modeling agency called Storm Models and has already managed to appear on the covers of Indie and Wonderland, as well as participate in several fashion shows. In April 2019, Jenny Gage's drama After, based on Anne Todd's bestseller with the same name, was released. The movie is about Tessa, who is a young, dedicated student good daughter and a loyal girlfriend to her high school sweetheart is entering her first semester of college. Tessa's guarded world opens up when she meets Hardin Scott, a mysterious rebel who makes her question all that she thought she knew about herself and what she wants out of life. Oddly enough, initially Todd's book was a fanfic involving One Direction's lead singer Harry Styles. The movie also has other characters who are based on the other members of One Direction. The movie blew up and especially with the famous line that Hero said, whatever our souls are made of, hers and mine are the same at the very end of the movie. In 2020, the movie movie After We Collided was released, the second part of the acclaimed melodrama. In addition to Hero, the After series also stars Josephine Langford and Dylan Sprouse. Josephine Langford and Hero were
reprising their roles as Tessa Young and Hardin Scott, and follows Tessa as she prepares to leave for her job in Seattle, the rival Tessa's father, and revelations about Hardin's family, all of which threaten the couple's relationship. After Refell was then released in 2021 as the third movie in the series. The fourth movie to the After franchise is also set to come out this month, and it's called After Ever Happy. Fans of the movie series are very excited for this movie because the last one that came out in 2021 left us with quite a big shock, so we are very excited to see what the movie has to offer. It sadly will be the supposed last movie in the series, however the author did write another book called Before, so hopefully that will become a movie as well. And despite his character being covered in tattoos, he actually doesn't have any in real life. People have also already made edits based on the trailer of the movie. can also be seen in the films The Silencing and Day by Day. He was also on First Love which came out this year in June, and people are loving him in the movie. The movie is about how one night in Tokyo a self-confident young boxer and a street intimate worker get caught up in a drug smuggling plot involving organized crime, corrupt cops, and a female assassin. I haven't seen the movie, but now knowing that Hiro is in it, I might just have to watch it. Now, Of course, a good looking guy like him, he must have a very interesting dating life, right? Well, long story short, he doesn't. The British actor is single and according to an interview with Elle from February 2019, he's never had a proper relationship, his own words too. Interestingly enough, I've never had like a proper relationship. I haven't had a girl I would call my girlfriend, he stated. Similarly, he semi-dodged a question later that year in April about what it's like to go on a first date. I'm not in a position to give the best advice, he told Hollywire, but I would just say, be yourself. Enjoy it, be yourself, be honest. It differs from person to person, but essentially be yourself. As for what he's looking for in a relationship, the actor places more emphasis on inner values rather than aesthetics. Appearance is not important to me, inner values count. When I date a girl, the chemistry has to be right, Hero said. I don't actually have a girlfriend, unfortunately. Poor me, but uh, we'll get there. We got time. In early 2019, we got a glimpse into that something could be happening in Hero's dating life. Model Chanel Benji Lali posted an Instagram story seemingly showing her and the actor cuddling on Valentine's Day. However, after a brief flurry of dating rumors from fans, the author of original After Novels chimed in to clear the air. Hero's not dating anyone, do him a favor and stop posting about it. She wrote in a since deleted tweet. The other fan favorite from the After Helms is Hero's co star Josephine Langford, who many fans also ship together. However, despite the very steamy scenes in natural chemistry between the two, it's just friends for the two. They've even joked about how well they worked together before. In Hero's last interview with Girlfriend, he revealed it would have been tough if we had no chemistry. And not to mention all those TikTok edits people have made about him. He has a net worth of $1 million, however, with the After series being so big, it's likely in the future that his net worth will be so much more as he is just skyrocketing in the film industry. And that is everything on everyone's favorite star hero, and can we just mention how cool his name is? If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.